click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the first principle of derivative through which the standard formulas are derived. The problems that we are going to see in this chapter there we will have different types of functions now if i say we have sin x function or cos x function this function comes under the category of trigonometry like that we have different types of functions say logarithmic function exponential function inverse function and more so before solving this problem we should understand that derivative of some standard functions are derived using this principle and this principle is called as principle of first derivative for that let us consider a function y is equal to f of x now if i say del y is a small increment in y now remember this increment can be positive or negative not necessary it will be always positive but just the point that to be noted is that y is changing so let del y be an increment and for that del x is also going to change so i will say del x be the change in x so if the original value was y and if i say the y is increasing or decreasing by del y so the new value that we are going to get is y plus del y if i simply give you an example that you have 10 rupees and after that i give you 2 rupees so the total amount that you will have will be 10 plus 2 similarly the original function is y and we have given it del y so the total new function will be y plus del y similarly for x if you see we have incremented it by del x therefore the new value will be x plus del x so if i say we have the function y is equal to f of x right y is equal to f of x if i put both the new values of y and f of x it should satisfy the same equation the new values were y plus del y and the new values of x were x plus del x so the equation that we are going to get will be y plus del y will be equal to f of x plus del x now using this equation let us try to find the value of del y to find the value of del y you can transfer that y on the rhs so the value of del y will be f of x plus del x minus y now what is the value of y it is f of x so del y will be equal to f of x plus del x minus f of x and this value is called as absolute increment of y now suppose this del x or the change in x is tending to zero the change is very small it is close to zero but not zero we are specifically mentioning that this change is not zero it is close to zero and we are going to divide these two different types of increments that is we'll take del y in the numerator and del x in the denominator so del y upon del x its value will be f of x plus del x minus f of x divided by del x after getting this ratio of del y by del x this ratio is also called as incrementary ratio now the next step will be we'll take limits on both side and in this del x will be tending to zero so we'll have limit del x tending to zero del y by del x is equal to limit del x tending to zero f of x plus del x minus f of x divided by del x now if you see the LHS in the LHS we have limit del x tending to 0 del y by del x and in the previous video of introduction we have seen that according to Leibniz limit del x tending to 0 del y by del x can be directly written as dy by dx so it is derivative of y with respect to x so we have arrived to a point where dy by dx can be written as limit del x tending to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by del x now for our convenience we are taking this del x as h so if i say if i consider del x as h first del x was tending to zero here h will be tending to zero generally we are just substituting del x as h so the formula will be dy by dx is equal to limit h tending to zero f of x plus h minus f of x upon h so whenever we say dy by dx as limit h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h this is nothing but the definition of derivative or also called as first principle of derivative i hope friends you have understood that what is the first principle of derivative thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe to ikida